So what we're doing here is we're doing our fourth duet. It's with Kenny Chesney, and we're doing a beautiful song that Connie Harrington and Skip Ewing wrote called Every Other Weekend. Now, Skip Ewing and Linda Davis are doing the, the demo on it, and I'm a big fan of both of their singing and their songwriting. Linda and Skip are both great songwriters, and I asked Kenny to tear himself away from the beach and, and come I'm excited sing with me. about it. He says he's excited. We'll see. It's not bull because I, when I was a kid, sorry, Reba, <laughs> I saw in the Knoxville Civic Coliseum, are you ready? No. I saw Reba in the Knoxville Civic Coliseum opening for Mickey Gilly and T.G. Shepard. I was telling Kenny the other day that when we went out with, uh, <laughs> when we were doing that tour, we were in hog heaven because uh, Mickey Gilly made sure we had plenty to eat. There was five course meals. I mean, they had steaks, chicken, I'm salad. I'm not going to tell you the act that she said that uh, made her eat uh, they beanie know. weenies out of a can. They do know? <laughs> oh, yeah. I told the Statler Brothers oh, I put yeah. in my book <laughs> that the Statler Brothers would uh, do a deli tray and a loaf of bread. And so Susan and I, my little <laughs> sister, we'd get in there and we'd make the sandwiches, then put it all back in the loaf. So we had something to, to eat when we were in the vans. Oh, my goodness. Season. Thank God things change. Oh, yeah. But you appreciate it more. Yeah, you do. So needless to say, I never thought I'd be sitting across the vocal booth when I was a kid at the Knoxville Civic Auditorium with Reba. I'm excited about it. Thanks, Kenny. Uh, the first time that I sang with Reba was on a project that was a tribute album to Barbara Mandrell. And I was really uh, pretty nervous and excited when I went in to sing with her because um, I, I she is a, a, a legend in our business. and a uh, person who has meant a lot to me, uh, you know, when I was first listening uh, on, on how to, uh, you know, interpret a song, Re you know, Reba was one of the people that, uh, who and I think influenced a lot of people. And so to be in the studio with her singing a, a great song, one of, one of Barbara's signature songs was, was pretty nerve wracking really, but I had to recreate George Jones as a line, which I wasn't very happy about, because you can't, you can't do it any better than George did it. You just can't do it. Can't do anything like George so Jones. I, I, you I, did. You put your stamp on it, and well, it was wonderful. Well, thank you. But it was, it was a, a thrill to be able to sing with her on that. And so it wasn't long after that that she emailed me about doing this project. And so I said, let's sing again. I said, please. Oh, she did not He said, yeah. She didn't have to do much begging at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing about Kenny. Uh, Kenny and I have been friends for a long time when we were uh, meeting. He was coming into the Chinese buffet and Narvel and I and Shelby were coming into the Ch Chinese buffet and we were eating there. And I would go there to eat three times a week and every time I would go there I would see Reba in a corner. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we love that place. Yeah, I did love that place. Reba and I were in the vocal booth and we were talking about you know the the kind of songs that she was recording for this album and and this the lyric and the the melody and everything just fit both of us uh, very easily and um it was it's a it is a true country song that is for sure we're family God I wish that he was still 